hello guys in this video i'm going to show you how to install windows 11 on your virtualbox now for those who don't know virtualbox virtualbox is a tool which allows you to run different operating system on your host operating system so for example this is my virtualbox and you can see this is my first machine over here kali linux 2022 this is debian 11 and this is my android os running on the same virtualbox now this virtualbox is in my computer but i have access to these three different operating systems so with VirtualBox, you can run a different operating system on your host computer without stressing yourself. Now let's begin with the installation. So if you don't have VirtualBox installed already, simply head to Google Chrome browser and then search for VirtualBox. So you can see the first page up here which says Oracle VM VirtualBox. So this is the link, so click on it and it will take you to this page. By the left, you will see downloads over here. Click on downloads and you can see VirtualBox for different operating systems over here. So we are installing VirtualBox for our Windows system. So you select windows host over here and it will start downloading now after downloading you can just install normally like every other software but if you find it difficult to install then check the description of this video you will see a link to a video that i made earlier on how to install virtualbox now the second thing we need for this installation is our windows 11 iso file now to get the iso file search for download windows 11 and you can see microsoft windows over here so click on it now scroll down now you can see the first option here which says windows 11 installation assistant now you will need this if you want to install it in your normal pc or in a bootable disk but we are not using that so we are using the option which says download windows 11 disk image iso so what you do is select download and then select windows 11 multi and then you click on download i think the file is over 5 gig so you just have to be prepared for that now i already have it downloaded so i don't have to download again now after installing virtualbox this is how it will look like so now we have to create a new virtual machine and to do that click on new over here and then enter your machine name so let's call this windows 11 os and you can see the type over here microsoft windows and the version over here windows 11 64 bits so make sure windows 11 64 bit is selected and then click on next now this is the ram we want to allocate to this os so let's give it 6 gig of ram since i have 16 gig on my computer now it is recommended to give at most 40% of your RAM to this device so you don't have to give 50% of your RAM to this device and then use 50% on your device because it may make your host computer slow. Now click on next after entering the amount of RAM and then click on create to create a virtual hard disk which we are going to use for this installation. Now click on next VDI dynamically allocated next. Now this is the ROM and this is the maximum storage you can allow this device to use. So I will set it to about 50 gig. I think the minimum is about 10 gig. So 50 gig is very much okay. Click on create. And our new virtual machine has been created. So you can see the first one over here, Kali Linux I installed before now. Debian 11, Android OS and Windows 11 OS over here. Now these are the details of our newly created virtual machine. So we have to make changes to this. So click on settings over here. And then you go to systems by the left. And you can see the base memory which is the ram click on processor over here and this is where you select the amount of cpu you want to allocate to this virtual machine so we are setting this three cpu core and then click on ok so everything is set and now we have to continue with the installation so now click on start button up here now this is where we are going to import the iso file we downloaded earlier so as you can see this is the iso file i downloaded so we are going to locate this file and then add it over here so to do that click on this file icon over here and then click on add now we have to locate the file which is in our downloads folder and then select the file windows 11 english 64 bits open and then click on choose and then click on start so our installation will begin immediately now hit enter and it will start booting so you can see the installation process so let's just proceed with the normal installation process next install now now this is a product key which we don't have we can set to this later but for now select i don't have a product key and then select the windows 11 version you want so i want windows 11 pro so let's go with that click on next so you can see the PC doesn't meet the minimum system requirements to run this version of Windows and we are unable to install so we have to do a little tweak to allow it to run so let's go back exit now hit on shift F10 and this would open our command prompt terminal 
now type in reg edit and this would open the registry so you can make modifications now go to h key local machine over here and then go to systems over here now go to setup now right click on setup new and then click on key now let's name this lab config lab config now type it exactly this way hit enter now we have to create new entries under the lab config and to do that right click on lab config new and then select the word 32 bit value now we have to name the first entry bypass tpm check so you have to type it exactly like this and then hit enter now double click on it and then set the value data to one and this would bypass the tpm check so let's click on ok now right click again new again dw32 again now we are going to bypass secure boot check so let's type in bypass secure boot check hit enter double click on it set the value data to one okay and then let's create the last entry new dw32 bit bypass ram check and then hit enter so we are good to go so now you should have three new files over here bypass tpm secure boot and ram check now these are the three requirements which before now we didn't meet so it is going to bypass this three check okay so i haven't changed the ram check so change the value to one don't forget that it's very important and you can see the values over here ox and the rest and you can see one by the end now you can close this registry now and then also close the command prompt and then we can start the installation by clicking on install now now we can skip this product key since we don't have one we can handle that later i made a video on how to bypass product key i will put the link in the video description so let's click on i don't have a product key and now select the windows version you want so i want windows 11 pro so that's good click on next and you can see the error is no longer coming up now let's accept and then begin the installation next so let's use the custom installation so it would wipe out any other file and this is the drive size we allocated to our virtual machine so you can see this version of windows requires 52 gig of rom or larger but we don't have up to that because we allocated lower than that so you should allocate more than 50 gig to this machine now let's continue with that and click on next and our installation has started so this will take some time so you just have to wait patiently so the installation is almost complete and it will restart in a second this is way faster than installing on a host computer so after the installation make sure you delete the file or move it to another folder so whenever you want to boot it won't boot from the file again and then start a fresh installation so you can see our windows machine is coming up and here we begin with the setup so let's continue with this next yes skip that now you can set it based on what you want so i'm just proceeding with the default settings and configuration since this is just a test for you now let's begin the configuration everything tech by the way if you're not yet subscribed to this channel this is a good time to subscribe thank you and then the password one two three two nine oh next confirm password next security question um let me just okay next this isn't really necessary let me see if i can skip this wow it's required so let's proceed with that okay and then the last question well let me just put anything there and then next and we are done with that part now let's click on next and then accept the themes and this should be up okay so this may take about five minutes i think not up to 10 minutes and everything should be ready okay so you can see everything is ready now this didn't really take long but i didn't monitor the time but we'll update the time on the video when i'm editing it so i can show you how long this took there is actually an issue here so if i try to view this on full screen it will show just like this just this square 800 by 600 which is the default for any os running on virtualbox so we have to make change to this so whenever we view this on full screen 
it would cover the entire screen and people may even think this is actually our main machine so now i'm going to show you how to do that now click on devices up here and then go to insert guest additional cd image now open your file explorer on your virtual box over here and then go to this pc now here you find cd drive virtual box guest additions now left click on it double click actually now scroll down and select virtual box windows additions double click on it and then click on yes now let's proceed with this next and then proceed with the installation click on install now go with the option to reboot your virtual box so let's finish now make sure to delete the installation file after you've successfully installed just like this so whenever it is booting it won't have to boot from this installation file over here so let's delete that or you can move it to another folder maybe if you want to send it to someone else so now let's log into our system now click on file up here and then click on preferences and then click on display and then from this section over here select hint and then you can define your own resolution so let me check the resolution from my system so you go to your settings on your system and then go to the display section and there you can find the resolution you can see 1920 by 1080 so let's set that and then hit on ok and then now let's try to view it on full mode and you can see everything is actually working properly now so basically this is how to change the resolution on your virtual box now everything is working on this virtual machine and you can actually use it for whatever you want to do so you can install the drivers you need and then start using your virtual machine so basically this is how to install windows 11 on your virtual box if this was helpful kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notification thank you for watching and i will see you on the next one